In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to enable a disabled Google account, specifically focusing on Gmail. Let's walk through the steps together, making sure you have all the information you need to complete this process smoothly. First, you'll want to open a new browser window on your computer or device. Once you've done that, type support.google.com into the search bar and hit enter. This will take you to the Google Support homepage, a valuable resource for addressing issues related to your Google account. Once you're on the Google Support page, locate and click on the part that says Google Account. This is where you'll find all the help you need with managing your account issues, including fixing a disabled account. Now you'll see a section that suggests posting to the help community. Click on post to the help community, which will guide you to a forum where you can get advice from both Google experts and fellow users. Next, you need to click on post a question. This is vital for reaching out to the community so they can better assist you with your issue. In the first field presented to you, it's crucial to write your request appeal. This appeal should be concise yet clear, briefly explaining that your account has been disabled and you seek to have it restored. Moving to the second field, you have the opportunity to provide a more detailed description of your restoration request. Here, it's a good idea to include any relevant details that might help the community understand your specific situation. You'll then see a category section. Make sure you select Account Access and Recovery. This step is critical as it directs your query to the most appropriate support channels. Following this, click on Next. If the Account Recovery option appears, select that. If not, go ahead and click on Other. This choice will direct your query down the right path, ensuring it gets the attention it requires. After that, click on Next Step and when prompted again, click on next step another time. Google wants to make sure your question is as specific as possible. Afterward, you'll be given options to select your platform. Whether you're on Android, iOS or the web, choose the one you're using. Then click again on next step. Before finalizing your post, ensure you check the option to get emails when someone responds. This ensures you'll receive notifications when someone has replied, keeping you updated on any progress or further actions you might need to take. Finally, click on Post to submit your appeal to the help community. Once posted, all that's left is to wait patiently for Google community support to respond to your request. Keep an eye on your inbox for any emails regarding this issue, as they will guide you on the next steps to take. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped clarify the steps you need to follow to regain access to your Google account. 